Tom? 9.48 on the Money Watch today. Last week, hundreds of thousands of students graduated from universities and colleges all around the country. Probably some more going on this weekend. And now, many of them, hopefully all of them, are searching for their first real job. The secret to making more money could be as simple as asking for it. But many just aren't doing that. A new survey by NerdWald and LookSharp finds only 38% of new college grads ask for more money when they get that job offer. But more should. Three-fourths of hiring managers say they do have room to increase salary by up to 10% over what they offer. Kelly Babb from Cavaliero is here to talk more about it. Wow. Yeah. You Talk know, it, about a lesson. Yeah, definitely. Um, and they should definitely be asking for more money. And I'm going to kind of go over a few ways on how they should do well, that. Let's start with this, though. Yeah. How do you know what you're worth? How do you figure out when you're coming out, right. this is what I'm worth, this is where I should start? That is an awesome question. And you're already thinking, like a college grad, so that's very good. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, I have to tell them and you that it just means doing your research. Okay. You have to get back online, um, Indeed. Glassdoor, those are some really good websites. My firm, Cavaliero, we actually do yearly an employee outlook and salary guide. So you can get out there and look into the field that you're in with the amount of experience that you have and the area that you want to be working in and really find out what the average salaries are and if the company that's giving you an offer is maybe going a little bit low. And so that, that's your first tip right there is know the facts. Absolutely. Know the facts so that you can know your value. That kind of leads us into the next one there. Yeah, which is timing is important and it's always Timing's important everything. in everything in life, but Absolutely. especially with this. And so new grads kind of have this habit. They, they graduate, they're so pumped, they're ready to get their new job, and they walk into a job interview, how much are you going to pay me? But that's probably not the best time. The best thing to do is to go through the interview process, show them your value, show them why you should be the person that they bring on. And once you have a job offer in hand and they've said this is what we want to give you, that's the that's when they've they've kind of laid their cards out and said to you, we want you to be working here and that's when you should be bringing up negotiations. And it's not just about salary though either. You really so need not. to look at the entire package. I tell you, I, I see this a lot mm -hmm. in talking to people and they don't look at things like benefits and other things like that. Talk a little bit about that. Yes, I mean there's the traditional things like benefits, how much paid time off are you going to get, how long is your commute, uh, do you like sitting in an office where you can see other people or do you like sitting in an office where there's no windows. I mean, I can't imagine wanting that but some people need that in order to focus so there's lots of different things involved with that I want people to also think about what can I gain from working for this company for example I, I'm sent to trainings that help me further my skill set as a recruiter and I'm also we have a yearly conference so those are the types of things that they're hard to measure but really they bring a lot of value more than just my weekly paycheck all right and if people want to get in touch with you they can just go through Cavalero yeah. and ask more questions yes absolutely